Data validation lists, or drop-down lists as they're more commonly known, allow you to select one item from the list and insert it in the cell. But with some simple VBA code, we can select multiple items from the list and store them in a single cell. It's set up like a regular data validation list. I have the list of values here in column F, and you can see in the name box, this is called DV list. And then over here, I have a range of cells, and again, you can see it's called DV range. These contain my data validation lists. They're set up like any other data validation list via the data tab and then data validation. You can see the source is the DV list. Now, normally a data validation list will only allow you to select one item per cell. But with this VBA code, it allows us to select multiple. When a selection is made from the data validation list, it intercepts the change using a worksheet change event. I'm going to delete that current selection and we'll just select one item, alpha, and we'll step through the code to see how it works under the hood. Now I'll open the VBA editor using the keyboard shortcut, Alt F11. At the top, we declare the variables old val and new val. First, we check that there isn't more than one cell being changed. If more than one cell is being changed, then we know the data validation list isn't being affected and we can abandon running any more of the code. Next, we check whether a cell in the DV range is being changed. And if so, we can process that change. Here, we temporarily turn off events so our changes don't trigger this event again because that would result in a nasty loop. Now, I should point out that the target value refers to the changed cell, in this case, cell C4. I'm going to add a breakpoint here, which will pause the code when I trigger the event. So I'll select another item. You can see the yellow highlight indicates that the code has been triggered and it's paused at that point. So let's use F8 to step through the code and see what it does. Notice at the bottom in the locals window, we can see that the variables old val and new val are empty. If I press F8, First it checks that a cell in DV range has changed. Then it turns off events to stop the loop. Next it's going to assign the target value that's in cell C4 to the variable new val. And if you look down in the locals window you can see new val has been assigned bravo. Next it undoes the change I made by selecting bravo. And if you look now in cell C4 it's back to alpha. Then it's going to write alpha to the variable old val. So if you look down in the locals window, you can see it now has alpha assigned to old val. Now the code needs to do one of three things. If the old value is nothing, the cell should contain the new selection. If the new value is nothing, the cell contents are being deleted. And if neither of these things are true, which is in our case, then it's going to join the old value and the new value together, separated by a comma and they'll put it into that cell C4 that's currently active. So I press F8 and we'll just step through and if you keep an eye on cell C4, now it has both values in the cell. And lastly, it turns events back on so that it can do it all over again. And that's all there is to it. You can download the Excel file for this lesson, including the VBA code from the link here. I hope you can make use of this technique if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more. And why not share it with your friends who might also find it useful? Thanks for watching.